Hey guys, what's going on? Krypton for the win here, and I have another Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Gun Statistics video. And as you see on the screen, there's a little thingy that says Stakeout, and uh, I was trying to cover up the bar back there, but you can pretty much see it, because I actually started recording and I left my Xbox for a couple minutes, and I, and I forgot to click my thumb trigger, so it stayed up. But uh, I'm doing the Stakeout, so um, it's gun damage. Uh, well, first of all, I want to talk a little bit about the Stakeout, like my personal um, preferences with it and whatnot but for the stakeout for me uh... it's my favorite shotgun i like it better than the olympia well the olympia has more damage but for me the stakeout the more bullets helps a lot because I don't, I don't know two bullets isn't enough the spas twelve used to be my favorite but then i don't know i just don't like it as much anymore and the hs ten i've never bought it and never really used it so i don't really know all I know is that it's four bullets, and since it's semi-automatic, uh, when I pick it up, I spam the trigger and run out of ammo way too fast on it. But uh, the actual gun statistics for the stakeout, I'd say to about eight meters on that. Or there looks about eight or ten meters. One, eight or ten meters. Uh, it does 30 damage, and that seems low, but it's a one-shot kill. So I don't really understand why it says 30 damage when it can be a one-shot kill. But uh, at 20 meters, I'd say about, it drops down to zero. So after 20 meters, the stakeout is completely ineffective and will not hit anybody no matter what you do, aim in or not aiming in. But with the stakeout, uh, what was I going to say? I like to hit fire a lot more, so at the end of this video, when you see my recommended classes, um, whatchamacallit, it's going to be, I'm going to, like, Oh, how can I explain this? It's gonna have steady aim on the class. I'd, I'd rather steady aim than sled of hand, even though some people want the fast reload. Steady aim is better for me on the stakeout than uh, sled of hand, I would find. Anyway, the multipliers, uh, they all say 1.0, so I don't really know. I can't really see them on my Sony Vegas screen, and if they're wrong, I'm sorry. I'll uh, put an annotation, or you guys correct, can correct me, but I'll probably put an annotation if I'm wrong. But this game, it wasn't the best score. I go. I end up going 48 and 15, which uh, is actually a rather low KD. But I had a different game where I go 40 and 8, which is a 5 KD with the stakeout on this exact same map that I played like an hour and a half before this. But I don't know. This one seemed a lot more entertaining, like more stakeout kills than anything else. Uh, the other one, I had a chopper gunner and I was using high kill streaks. I was using Napalm Blackbird chopper gunner, and the chopper gunner only probably got me eight kills. But, I don't know, something about this game was uh, a lot funner to watch, I don't know. But in this game, I am using sleight of hand, and that's because I was going for quad feeds, like, for my montage. And so I'm just trying to put the bullets in quick, but as I said before, I find steady game better. I don't really know, I must have had sleight of hand on accident, because this was my FAMAS class, and I think that was what happened. But yeah, steady aim I find is a little bit better, but with the sled of hand you can aim in faster. So if, if you're going to be playing like not right up in their face, you might want sled of hand so you can aim in. Because that, uh, that reduces the spread and that will give you a more accurate shot and hit detection. Oh man, I have a headache right now. I just got home from school, I don't know what it is. I was reading, I don't know. I just got a headache, maybe it's because it's... Well, I live up in Canada and it's actually sunny out today. Like, all the snow is pretty much melted. It's pretty much all gone, which kind of sucks, because I really like... Winter is my favorite time of year, because of hockey. I'm a really big hockey fan, and what kind of Canadian would I be if I didn't like hockey, you know? Eh? But, um, and I say a boat weird. But I was going to talk about something other than the gun in this video. I was going to talk about something important. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit more about game battles, because, like, in my last video, I didn't talk about game battles itself. I pretty much only talked about my team and stuff. And so there might have been some people that were confused in what game battles was. And I know I had to re-upload it, so it got less views because maybe some people already seen it. And I don't think my last video went into your sub boxes or nobody felt like watching it because it was zombies. But it only got six views. So hopefully this video will get back up to like my 30 or 40 that I should be getting, not my six. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, game battles. Gamebattles.com is a really shitty website. Because back in World at War, when the guy who created it made it, because that's when I used to play a lot, was in World at War. The guy who created GameBattles.com, 
uh, left the website and went on to do other things like he started creating video games or something because I remember talking to him about it one day well I didn't talk to him about it but like he put a blog post on game battles and I remember reading it and then I like sent him a couple messages and he responded to me and stuff but uh what, what I was gonna say ever since then the website's been going down like more more and more people are playing it and I guess they haven't really updated the servers so you lag out a lot and it goes game battles goes down a lot down for maintenance it says but if you refresh the page most of the time it's just glitching yeah but I don't know gamebattles.com it's a website you go on you register for an account and you can play multiples of games, lots and lots of games like Call of Duty Black Ops, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Halo Reach, Halo 3, Battlefield Bad Company, NHL, uh, you can play Uno. There's lots of different types of games. What you, what you do, you sign up and the biggest platform they have on there is of course Call of Duty. I just had a little tiny voice crack, but um, I'm saying but um a lot this commentary. I have to stop that. It'll be my goal to stop. Okay. You go on, you log, you sign in, uh, you make, you create your account, and you can. It'll up in the top right corner. It'll say you don't have any teams. You can click on that. It'll show you how to make teams. Uh, you, there's lots of blog posts and uh, informations, questions and answer things where you can find out how to register for teams. But the main things for call, the main thing is for Call of Duty. So. For Call of Duty, there's a singles ladder, which is just you against one other person, and you sign, and you find matches against random people. Or you can, uh, oh man, I just like threw up my mouth. Oh. Here, one second, I need to go get a glass of water or a drink. Okay, you guys probably didn't need to hear that, but, uh, whatever, sorry about that, I'm just trying to get through this commentary, I'm gonna go play Xbox, it's almost 4 o'clock, 3.50, but, what was, oh my god, where was I, yeah, you go on, you log in, you can play singles against one per person, or doubles, which is when you play 2v2, and then there's team ladder, which is 4v4, 5v5, and 6v6, they used to do 3v3s, but for Black Ops, they removed that. And you can still do 3v3s for uh, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, and Call of Duty World of War. Which, by the way, is the best ever Call of Duty. Just saying. And here I get a nice little 3 piece. Oh, no. I got the 3 piece earlier. Whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have no clue how to do commentaries. But, what was I going to say? I'm losing track right now, guys. I'm getting distracted. Yeah. You go on, you sign up, you can play Team Ladder with your friends. Uh, you can go on the forums and find scrims or find tryouts for other teams, and you can uh, do doubles. And also, you can challenge other teams, but that became a lot harder recently since they removed something called member search, and you can search for people now you can't, and you have to search teams, and I don't know, it's just more difficult. But normally, you'll just go on the match finder, and you will... Um, Either find a match or post a match, and there's custom rules like you can play team deathmatch, search and destroy, uh, domination, demolition. It can be random, or you can play like it can be random maps and random game types, or it can be MLG variant, which is just domination, demolition, search, and it's only on firing range, villa, Havana, and Hanoi. There's one on Hanoi, yeah, I think that's all of them. But yeah, Game Battles is just a website where you go, and uh, pretty much it's to play more competitive, to get call loads down. And when you first start out, you won't win very much. Uh, not gonna lie, you won't win pretty much at all. You might go like 1 in 15 or something. But if you're like one of those guys at the top of the leaderboards every game, then you should, and you're looking for something harder, uh, sign up for GB, and eventually you'll get good and you'll start winning more. And I'm not saying that I'm good or anything, uh, I'm just a little bit above average. My KD, it's it's not two because sniping and obviously this, it's like 1.95. But if I if I only use like the FMOS or um, what you call it, AK-47 or all the good guns, I could probably have like a 2.3 or 4 KD. But the game's wrapping up here, guys. So um, I will see you in my create a class for the stakeout set. Napalm strike coming in hot. Mission accomplished. Good work.
All right, so this is the class I'd recommend if you're going to use a stakeout. Um, stakeout with grip, lightweight, either sleight of hand or steady aim, but steady aim's a little better. And for your third perk, you're, you're going to either want to use um, hacker, marathon, or tactical mask. I don't really recommend ninja because you're going to be rushing around. Unless you're using it in search, then you might want to. And uh, I wouldn't really recommend second chance because that's a piss off. And yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. I almost have steady aim pro, so that'll be cool to have. But, uh, yeah, you either want to use sleight of hand or steady aim. Thanks for watching, guys. If you could comment on the video, like the video, and if you and if you haven't been to my channel before, if you could come on it and subscribe, that'd be really cool. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.